it became a dangerous situation very, very quickly. Hey everyone, it's Shanna from the Five and Family Homestead. So you're actually gonna see two intros to this video, and I apologize, it may bother some people, but I'm shooting this now a couple days after we shot all the video you're about to watch, and I just wanted to give y'all some stats and some numbers to kind of, I guess, I don't know, sum it all up. But anyways, at the beginning of the video. <laughs> so what you're about to watch is a video of a rain event that happened over the last couple days. Um, the stats are incredible. It makes no sense to me. I'm still trying to wrap my brain around how it all happened. But in the DFW area, so they measure rainfall. And when we are considered to be without rain for so many days, it's based on... DFW, Dallas-Fort Worth at the airport. Um, so anyways, after going 67 days without rain, we had rain one or two days in that 67 days, but the actual count and the records and all that is DFW. They went 67 days without any rainfall. And I can't even remember, we were in a drought, we were the so many place for the driest summer on record, I can't even remember. But then we had a rain event come in, and as of today, we are the wettest August on record. We are first place of the wettest August on record. That happened in a 24 hour period. The record was 10.38 inches in a month and no, 10.33 inches in a month and we DFW received 10.38 inches in 24 hours. Um, it was a very scary situation and it got bad really really quick um, there was flooding in Dallas and when I say flooding I'm talking massive massive flooding uh, I think the at one point uh, they got in the area that was flooded so bad was 15 inches of rain now that's not where they measure the rainfall like I said earlier it was down a little bit south of DFW they were like cars floating um, high water rescues people being evacuated out of their homes I just it is so crazy to me that we went from being super super dry and now we are in the record books for the wettest August within 24 hours <laughs> I don't even know. I'm telling you, Texas, she's crazy. I, I, I've said that before. She does not. It's feast or famine with her. We're thankful for the rain. We are not complaining at all. At our place, which we're north of DFW, we probably got closer to about three or four inches of rain. Very, very much needed. God heard all of us. He did. He heard all your prayers. And he. we had so many people praying for us to get rain because they knew that Texas is in such a severe state at the moment um, at the time and we got rain and now Texas is I don't think we're out of the drought yet we're still considered in a drought um, but that put a huge dent in it so we want to thank you now I'm sure y'all want me to quit talking so I will start the video Where's Gabby? So, good morning, first of all, <clears throat> Shanna. Um, 
you may not recognize what is happening outside when you're watching our channel you're like what is that we haven't seen it <laughs> we have not seen rain in months and months and months and we have had a very good light soaking rain in our area in north texas for the last i don't know eight or nine hours and it's still raining a little bit further south of us south of dfw um they are getting um flooding warnings i think they've had like eight to nine inches of rain in the last 24 hours so told y'all texas she's crazy she doesn't she i don't even know what to say about it because we were like we beat we were seventh of the driest streak like we hadn't had rain in like 60 something days it's like the seventh in the on the record books but today with the rain we're now the third wettest august on record okay as i was saying um my sidekick here is working from home so i have to work around i have to work around him getting phone calls up and this is what it looks like when it rains outside your hair anyway we are the third wettest august on record so now. right now but we, i guess we could go we could be first or second maybe we'll run for first or second well, so what were we a week ago though? Well, that's why I told him earlier. We were, a week ago, we were the driest, seventh we're driest on record. I don't even know. Anyway, so I'm making dinner tonight because it's raining and it feels like it's so chilly outside. I think it's like 82, but I'm freezing. I have sweatpants and a jacket on. And the boys always know that when it's rainy and cooler outside, I always make a good dinner. So tonight, what are we making? The pork version of a Mississippi mud roast. I don't think it's called mud roast though. Mississippi yeah. mud roast? Okay. So this is the pork version of it. Um, as you guys know, we raise and process our own pork. This is a roast off of our most recent pork that we took. We had somebody ask a very good question. They said, I've never seen a pork butt that small before. What was the reasoning behind it? And that's a great question. The reason why is because we have them cut our roast in half. Um, it's less wasteful and it gives us more. So this is only a half of one of the roasts, what, however a roast is cut. I don't know. People were asking me the difference between a shoulder and a shoulder and a pork roast and I couldn't, our butt roast or anything. Anyways, so this is a pork roast and we're going to make Mississippi roast. How do you do that? You put a roast in pepperoncinis, a stick of butter, mm -hmm. stick of butter people, a ranch packet, and pork gravy. In a true Mississippi roast, you put au jus gravy, but then I watched a video the other day and they were making this with pork and they put pork gravy and I thought, well, that's just brilliant. So all you do is you put a stick of butter in, do not melt it, you add both of these packets, you don't have to mix it. Add as many pepperoncinis as you'd like. I go pretty heavy on them because um, both uh, Reed and Tobin like eating them. And then you add the juice. Do not add any more liquid to it. This will break down the butter, the juices from the pork, all of that will break down enough. You don't want it soupy. So I'm gonna put it together and I'll show you what it looks like. Just like that. This is kind of a dump and forget kind of recipe that that butter looks really big but it's not it's a half of a stick anyways you put it on <clears throat> it is 8 45 9 o'clock in the morning and i'm going to cook this all day and you want to cook it low and slow so low in 10 hours leave it alone when it's all done you just want to shred it up and kind of mix everything together and it is delicious. So I'll show you when it gets done cooking tonight. Storm chaser Brandon Clement captured this drone footage showing the intensity of the flooding. 
Some people can even be seen swimming out of their vehicles. Dallas Fire Rescue has responded to nearly 200 high water calls since 6 p.m. yesterday evening. This afternoon, we continue to have numerous flash flood warnings. Meteorologist Ali Turian. Just in the last 24 hours at DFW, 8.72 inches of rain. That is third all time in a 24-hour period, if you can imagine that. And that's just DFW. Some areas have received more than that. And the numbers continue to climb because we are not out of the woods yet. This system is moving so slowly off to the east and southeast. Now, the axis of heavy... Okay, so this is me the next day. <laughs> Because I forgot to show you guys. I told you, I said, hey, I'll show y'all when the pork, um, the Mississippi roast is done. I'll show you guys in, in the evening. But I got home. I started making dinner. Had to go to a football meeting, read, and Tobin went to baseball practice. And I got home, cleaned the kitchen, put everything up, and it's the next day. So I wanted to show you what the leftovers look like. It's not as good, but I promise you it was delicious. So... That's it. That's just kind of all the fat and stuff. But you can see the roast, the pepperoncinis. It was delicious. I cooked it. <clears throat> I started it at like 8.45 yesterday morning. And it cooked until 6 o'clock last night on low. Can I help you? <laughs> I don't know what she's doing. Gabby's right here and she's trying to attack her, I guess. Anyways, I cooked it all day and it just shredded. Um, and then I added just a little bit of cornstarch because I wanted to make the gravy a little thick. And is she not wanting to play with you? <laughs> You're messing up my video. Anyways, it's been raining two days, so she has not been outside to do her to get enough exercise. Obviously, she's like a toddler. If she doesn't get to go outside very often. She gets a little crazy. Anyways, dinner was delicious. So, um, thank you guys for watching. If you haven't already, you can follow us on Facebook. You can subscribe on YouTube. Doesn't cost you a dime. If you don't like us, you can unfollow us. But why would you do that? Because we're pretty awesome. Thank you for all the support, and we'll see you guys again. Bye.